Today I'm going to be sharing some simple ideas on praise and making it really meaningful. Now, the first thing just to note here, not every kid responds well to praise. If you've got one who doesn't, watch my quiet praise video instead. But many kids love praise. They really thrive on it and it helps to drive those kind of internal motivations. So rather than stickers and charts and all that kind of thing, what we do with our words and what we notice really matters. Now for me, good praise has got three S's because... Ha! Alliteration makes me happy. So three S's. It needs to be spontaneous, it needs to be sincere, and it needs to be specific. Simple, right? So spontaneous. If we see it, we should say it. If there's something that's worth praising, just say it. Just get in the habit of saying it all the time. Not just in those moments when you feel that you would when you're teaching or something. Just all the time. If you notice a good behaviour happening from a child and you think, that's great, that's just what I want to see tell them. The more of these like moments of like micro praise that our kids get, as long as they're meaningful, then this builds up a really rich tapestry of the adults around them, encouraging the behaviours, the actions, the approaches, the attitudes that we really hope to see. And all these little connections just feel good, that sense of belonging and pride for our children. So spontaneous, if you see it, say it. Next is sincere just actually mean it. And this one, I kind of feel like I shouldn't need to say, but sometimes we give insincere praise. We're like really searching for something that we need to praise for this child, or we think that's something that should be praised, but actually for us, it doesn't necessarily really do much. So look for the things that really connect for you, that you feel passionate about, that you're inspired by for this child and praise those things. Be really sincere in the praise that you're giving rather than kind of paying lip service to it. Kids will see straight through insincere praise. And the problem is that if you do it some of the time, then actually it kind of invalidates a lot of your other praise. So you might be doing good praise, doing good praise, you might be praising well and meaningfully much of the time. But if some of it is kind of littered in between with this sort of insincere stuff, then all of it may be seen that way. So just go steady, just be sincere in your praise giving. And then finally, and this is one that takes a little bit more practice, but is so powerful, is to be specific in the praise that you give. We're looking to say something like, Hey, Lyra, I really love how you focused so carefully on your English homework last night. I noticed that you were listening to music and that when you felt the urge to be distracted, actually you took yourself back to the task. I was really impressed by that. It's about helping a child to know that we've really, really noticed what they're doing, what they're trying. And we're trying to very specifically praise exactly the behaviour and the attitude that we are looking to see. One thing to think about here is praising the process, not the outcome. This is something we come back to often because what we don't want is for our children to feel that it's all about what they get to in the end. Because learning and living and life and all those things, it's not about where we get to in the end ultimately, it's about how we get there. And particularly with our children, with our mini humans who we're trying to grow, we're looking to encourage the right attitudes, the right beliefs in themselves, the right ways of trying, the right approach. And so when we see that, we want to spontaneously and specifically and sincerely praise it to encourage more of that behaviour. You don't just have to use these S's for yourself. You can teach children in your care to praise in this way too. You can encourage them to spontaneously, sincerely and specifically praise one another. I'm going to have to end this video here because Mork really, it seems, would really, really like my attention. Mork, I'd just like to say, I really love how you reached your pour out so, so carefully to tap me gently to get my attention when you needed it. That was a really good way of help seeking. Well done. Until next time, over and out.